The rape investigation went on for two years and that was the most traumatic, hellish process to come out of even the entire relationship. It was more traumatic than the incident itself. Harriet told police she was raped by her husband when they came to her home to arrest him for a physical assault. But from the moment the case was opened, she told us she was treated badly by the authorities. Their approach to me, their lack of empathy to me, they were trying to put me off reporting it. They were actively helping him break his bail conditions. They were showing up at my doorstep unannounced with him. They would call me and ask me to speak to him on speakerphone, which was in direct violation of the restraining order that was granted to me by the criminal courts. They didn't really have any patience or time for me. I was a nuisance. And it's because of experiences like Harriet's and the fact that rape prosecutions are at an all-time low that the criminal justice system has been reviewed by the Home Affairs Committee. It found that in the year to September 2021, there were more than 63,000 rape offences recorded in England and Wales, a record high. But the number of completed rape prosecutions were at a record low, at just over 1,500. That's down from well over 5,000 four years previously. There's a problem in the investigation, not having specialist police officers investigating. There are really long delays, which then makes it difficult for complainants because they need to get on with the rest of their lives. And we, we heard and have seen evidence that it's about a thousand days from an offence being committed to actually getting to court. The report has recommended a number of changes. It wants every police force to have a specialist rape investigation team. Victims should be given access to independent legal advocators to help them with requests for personal data, as well as greater support for long-term counselling and therapy. We know that the things that the report is asking for in terms of change, they're really big things. They're, they're about changes in culture, they're about changes in system, they're about um, not just bringing in a new process, but making sure that that process is, is dealt with correctly on the ground, on the front line, with frontline police officers, with prosecutors in the CPS. And that takes time and, and that takes resource to implement. While the government has committed £440 million to boost victim support, the police and the CPS say they too need to do more in the hope of creating a system that puts victims first. Catherine Nash, Five News.